Hi there ladies and gentlemen, this is Eastwood for Life Fan back with another monthly update. Uh, and yeah, I know this is a uh, slightly late video in putting this out. And this is movie pickups update for the month of April 2021. Uh, did shoot this video last week, but wasn't satisfied with the picture. But um it's uploaded today. Um, no DVDs, um, picked up mainly Blu-ray and 4K titles and one movie related item, uh, which most of the stuff came from a London out and about and also a few pick up some CX and uh, some titles from the Indicator Powerhouse uh, films sale that was in March but um, that was late in arriving to us so we'll start off with the uh, update first with a shout out and it goes to the uh, awesome channel of Spider Geek um, to those who know Spider Geek Craig um, I wasn't aware of his channel before. Uh, you know, he had this big channel, and I was actually told by uh, Dan Physical Media Life to check out his channel. Um, and as soon as I saw one of his videos, I was absolutely glued and addicted to the way he shot his videos. Um, yeah, he has resurfaced and kind of gone away several times, but I think he's back for good. Spider Geek, Craig, massive horror movie fan of mixed uh, movie genres. Um, trust me guys, if you haven't subscribed to his channel, I dare you to uh, watch one of his videos and uh, you will be addicted to the way he puts his uh, great content on uh, on YouTube. Uh, fantastic editor. I love the way he puts his clips in his uh, in his videos. The uh, description and channel link, I should say, in the uh, description box down below. Spider Geek, highly recommended channel. And uh, trust me, you will sub to Spider Geek. So we'll get to the Blu-rays and uh, some of these London ones I'll quickly go through. The first one starting off with the older movies first. Uh, late 1950s movie this one the blob the original movie the blob uh, american b movie uh starring steve mcqueen uh i i do much prefer the original uh, the uh, remake i should say which came out in uh, the 80s but mainly got this one because steve mcqueen a uh, big fan of the movies from Steve McQueen and this was missing from my collection this is part of the uh, Criterion collection and this does have a insert typical 50s uh, movie with the uh, artwork um, seen this one many times on UK TV on BBC TV The Blob and still with another movie from the 50s comedy classic directed by billy wilder one of uh, my favorite marilyn monroe movies along with the seven year itch also starring tony curtis and jack lemon uh, two musicians who go on the run and uh they disguise themselves as uh, women, part of a uh, girl band. But great movie, this one. Probably would be in my top 20 comedy movies, Some Like It Hot. And Hot Marilyn Monroe was in this movie. The first movie out of the uh, Indicator Powerhouse movie sale in March. And I didn't get my titles till the first week in April. Uh, this one's Badge 373, an early 70s uh, cop thriller starring Robert Duvall. Uh, this was a cheap pickup. Um, I think I picked this one up for $9.99. Uh, a good solid crime thriller, this one. Um, I wouldn't put it up there with some of the classics like Dirty Harry, French Connection or Serpico, but a good movie. 
mainly got this because uh, it's Robert Duvall and he's he's the uh, leading actor in this one I know Robert Duvall great actor who uh, mainly was kind of like a supporting actor in his career in some great movies but this one wasn't a bad movie good solid one where he plays a uh, a uh, cop who gets suspended after he chases a suspect on the rooftop and then uh, that suspect uh, gets killed so he's suspended and uh, then his his partner he gets killed and then uh, Robert Duvall he kind of looks into the uh, Hispanic community for clues onto the death of his uh, partner. Um, yeah, very good, solid crime movie, this one. Badge 373. And sticking with crime movies, this one, a Euro crime movie from the mid 70s uh, from a new uk label fractured visions and this is silent action a euro crime movie directed by sergio martino and uh, sergio martino very famous italian director who made his name directing uh, kind of more violent uh, giallo movies and this is a slip box and it's the, the first release from Fractured Visions. And you do get this uh, Italian cover. And the movie stars Luke Miranda. Who actually I'm looking forward to the 88 film release of The Violent Professionals. Starring Luke Miranda as a Eurocrime movie I have watched. Highly recommended. Which is due to be released. And this also stars Thomas Millian. One of my favourite spaghetti western actors. And uh, in this release you do get the movie itself. And also a CD movie soundtrack. And it does come with the booklet also. And they do have a uh, upcoming release of a uh, another Eurocrime movie starring Thomas Millian. And... Uh, be good to see some Eurocrime movies released in the UK. Uh, I do have a fair collection of Eurocrime movies, that, but a lot of them are either German or American releases. I uh, yet to check out this one yet. And great first release and uh, limited. Silent action. So we look forward to seeing more releases from this label. The uh, second title that I picked up from Indicator is the uh, Force 10 from Navarone Limited Edition. Uh, Force 10 from Navarone is the uh, sequel to the Guns of Navarone, which was made in the 60s. Uh, this one was made in the late 70s. Um, it's not as good as The Guns of Navarone, but I've, I always enjoyed this movie, and it's limited to 5,000 copies. Uh, great cast in this one. I do like my war movies from the 60s and 70s that have a great cast, and this one, war movie directed by... Guy Hamilton, James Bond director, and uh, yeah, great cast in Robert Shaw, Harrison Ford, Barbara Back, Edward Fox, Franco Nero, also Carl Weathers, and uh, Richard Keel, who played the Jaws character in the Bond movies. And you do get two cuts of the movie, uh, an extended cut which I don't think I've seen. I think I've seen the uh, shorter version on TV. And you do get a chunky booklet. And there is uh, Robert Shaw. Mainly, one, mainly picked this one up 
because Harrison Ford is in the movie and the uh, some mission World War II movie where the mission is to they plan to blow up a uh, bridge and I didn't realize that this release was going to be as high quality as this And I forget that Carl Weathers and Franco Nero are actually in this movie. Edward Fox there. And not only do you get a booklet, you do get some movie cards also. Edward Fox, Robert Shaw, Carl Weathers. Not only was he in the Rocky movies and Predator, the uh, gorgeous Barbara Back, and Harrison Ford. Yeah, fine release from Indicator. And uh, even though this release came out, they released it uh, last summer. Um, it's still available and it's limited to 5,000 copies. Force 10 from Navarone. The next two titles are 88 film releases. So more Jackie Chan and this is a late 1970s movie, The Fearless Hyena. Um, and this one's directed by Jackie Chan himself, also known as Revenge of the Dragon in the US. And uh, I am really enjoying these 88 film releases. And you do get the slip cover and uh, you do get the alternative Asian cover. Uh, I don't think I've seen this one. Um, I don't mind some of the comedy in these movies, but as long as the uh, comedy doesn't overshadow the uh, action movies. And uh, 88 films are really doing some fine work in these uh, Jackie Chan movies. Yeah, newer release, which is Snake and Eagle Shadow, which is one of my first Jackie Chan movie experiences I'm yet to pick up and these are the first pressing of these releases that come with the slip cover and the booklet this is the fearless hyena and the second Jackie Chan movie is also directed by Jackie Chan, and this is Dragon Lord. Also with the slip cover. And I've changed the alternate artwork to the Asian artwork. And this one, there is no booklet, but you do get some movie cards. So nice to have these Jackie Chan movies in the collection. And Dragon Lord was a early 80s movie and uh, still in the 80s. This is Dogs of War, Christopher Walken. He plays a, um, a mercenary for hire. And uh, he goes on a uh, kind of like a scouting mission in a, in a small African nation have seen this movie but many years ago on TV and this does come with the booklet that was uh, the artwork that they used in the UK VHS cover fine actor Christopher Walken
this is the uh, Eureka release of the Dogs of War. And the uh, final title that I picked up from the Indicator sale, this is Road Games. Uh, mainly got this one because of uh, Jamie Lee Curtis is in this movie. And this is a movie that has always... Uh, skip me by and uh, Jamie Lee Curtis is my favorite scream uh, queen and this one she stars in the movie with Stacey Keach and this is directed by Richard Franklin he was the director who directed uh, a high quality sequel Psycho 2 this is another limited edition and far as I know this is kind of a this is a movie that's very that fans have uh, mixed opinions about this movie the way it's uh, promoted it it's like a uh, it looks like it's promoted as a slasher movie but I think it's more of a uh, mystery thriller this is the booklet and it's set in Australia uh, involving a uh, truck driver a hitchhiker and also a killer and there is the beautiful Jamie Lee Curtis and uh, I checked out the uh, trailer of this and I am intrigued by this movie some are saying it's not that great Stacey Keach kind of a uh, underrated actor I enjoyed him in the western The Long Riders as well as the uh, new Centurions cop drama so guys yeah let us know what your thoughts are on road games and you do get a poster in this edition and this one also is this one is also limited to 5,000 copies and still available road games And speaking of slasher movies, this one I picked up in my local CEX store. Didn't think I'd find this one for such a cheap price. This is uh, W Later. Um, boom of uh, the big boom of slasher movies in the 80s. Uh, this one's directed by Buddy Cooper. Uh, I'd seen this one before. And for the price of uh, six pounds, I think this one's the first pressing because it does come with the slip cover. And it's also known as uh, Fall Break. Uh, group of um, teenagers, they take a vacation to a uh, beach house and there's a uh, killer. And this one comes with the DVD and the uh, Blu-ray. And this does come with the booklet. I actually enjoyed this one. You, the kills are pretty, pretty cool. And it's not one of the, uh, it's not one of the the better slasher movies, but still enjoyable. The Mutilator. That was a very great pickup from CX by sword, by pick, by axe, by by. And on to my favorite slasher serial character on screen. I know it's uh, probably many people would say Jason Voorhees or Michael Myers, but I always preferred. Freddy Krueger in the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Uh, I had the first four movies on Germy, German um, media book editions uh, and they were pretty expensive to pick up, uh, you know, between 35 and 40 pounds. And rather than picking up the other movies, sold those off and uh, I wanted this uh, HMV seven film collection which is a limited exclusive you do get movie cards as well as a uh, booklet i'm not sure how much this is uh, limited to but a very tidy set indeed robert england playing freddy krueger 
protective uh, slip box and a much better release than the previous UK releases of these uh, movies all on separate discs um, the first movie directed by Wes Craven being my all-time Nightmare on Elm Street movie and you do get this envelope it does contain some movie cards poster cards from movies from the franchise Nightmare on Elm Street Nightmare on Elm Street 2 which is Freddy's Revenge um, some people kind of don't like this one as much but I always had a lot of fun watching this one um, and then probably Nightmare on Elm Street 3 would be my second favourite I love the kills in this one especially uh, the hospital scene the TV break and Nightmare on Elm Street 4 the Dream Master was a good one after the fourth movie it kind of went downhill for me the dream child Wes Craven's new nightmare and Freddy's dead the final nightmare so yeah high quality movie cards there and a booklet I'm sure there will be a, a probably a Screen Factory release of these movies, uh, which would be nice if they do that in the US. Very similar to the Halloween and uh, Friday the Thirteenth movies, but this set I'm more than happy with. Robert England, yeah enjoyed that scene in Dream Warriors hey guys if any of you know how many copies this one is limited to I'm surprised it's actually not being sold out a horror franchise like this a very tidy set Guys, let us know what your favourite Nightmare on Elm Street movie is. The uh, next movie finishes off my Poltergeist collection. And for some strange reason, the second one was a little bit more harder to pick up. Uh, this one was from the 80s, 1986. And uh, as far as I always remembered, this one was always called Poltergeist the other side or oh, am I mistaken that with part three but yeah the uh, family they move into a new home and uh, yet again the uh, supernatural forces follow them again but pretty good sequel I uh, didn't mind this one at all Bottle Guys 2 the next one not one of Stephen King's uh, better movies on screen from his novels but I actually didn't mind uh, Sleepwalkers and this is the uh, Eureka release of this movie a uh, mother and daughter mother and son I should say they move to a small town where they are sleep uh, walkers who can change their appearance and they seek uh, life force from a young virgin girl uh, fun one this one a lot more kind of humorous this one and this one i picked up in cex and hasn't been that long released this one i think it was a couple of months ago Sleepwalkers, and it comes in with this uh, kind of cool but smooth slipcover. 
comedy classic this one uh, which I was surprised that was missing from my collection starring Robin Williams and Sally Field also Pierce Brosnan uh, Robin Williams an actor he disguises himself as a uh, Scottish female housekeeper to get close to his uh, children fun movie this one from the 90s uh, and it's one of uh, Robin Williams best comedy performances in my opinion and the last well no there's a few more horror titles uh, this one from the UK label BFI I've picked up many releases from them this is Tales from the Hood 1 and 2 a urban anthology uh, movie I do like my anthology movies and TV series but this one I've always been intrigued to check out there is a US release of uh, Tales from the Hood but that one was always expensive to uh, track down hearing that the second one's not that great had seen the trailer of the first one and it looks like a real great watch black horror from the urban streets of America tales from the hood I'm looking forward to watching this one next two movies are movies that I picked up from my Poundland store now I don't normally pick up much from Poundland store I only really go in there to buy packaging materials uh, this is the Senate all starring Michael Douglas and Kiefer Sutherland two um, investigators um, they, go, they go after a uh, secret service agent who uh, is kind of framed for an assassination attempt on the president and uh, that service agent Michael Douglas he goes on the run um, check out the trailer of this it looks really good uh, one it's a Michael Douglas movie movie that's always uh, skipped me by but yeah I wouldn't mind checking this one out soon because it does look like a good crime thriller this one and the other movie from the Poundland store is Stand Up Guys starring Christopher Walken and Al Pacino um, this is one I haven't seen um, gang of con men get back together for one last hurrah after one of them comes out of prison from a uh, long jail sentence looks a fun one for £2 each worth checking out and the last horror movie um, didn't realize I picked up as many horror movies this update this is Midsummer. Um, really enjoyed the movie Hereditary and it's from the same director this movie Midsummer. Uh, there are two different cuts there is a uh, extended cut guys let us know which is the best cut to watch for this movie Midsummer kind of looks like the Wicker Man and the next two movies are 4k titles finishing off my Rocky Balboa collection this is Creed which uh, great movie uh, Stallone deserved the Oscar in my opinion as he trains uh, the son of Apollo Creed played by Michael B Jordan I'd watched this one in the cinema and loved it and the last movie is Creed 2 which I've yet to see um, I'm intrigued in how they're gonna involve the uh, Dolph Lundgren Ivan Drago character it looks like he trains a fighter but 
I'm not sure if they could really carry on with this uh, franchise. I mean, how many more movies can they keep going in the uh, Rocky Balboa story? But nevertheless, still looking forward to watching this movie, Creed 2. So that is all the movies, pickups that I've picked up in Blu-rays and 4K titles. I did pick up one movie related item also. And from that London trip, I picked up this book from the Batman classic TV series from the 1960s. A celebration of the uh, classic TV series played by Adam West and Burt Ward, the Cape Crusaders, which I probably will do a video of this book showing it in full detail. So guys there is all the uh, movie related items I picked up in the month of April 2021. Uh, huge uh, apologies for this uh, video getting uploaded uh, pretty late. But guys stay healthy and well do check out the awesome channel of Spider Geek. Till next time, stay healthy and well, keep on collecting and keep on talking movies.